Three people have been killed and many others injured after a lorry drove into pedestrians in the Swedish capital, Stockholm. The vehicle drove into shoppers outside a department store, sending people fleeing in panic. The lorry had been stolen earlier in the day. Sweden's Prime Minister says the country has been attacked. The capital is now in lockdown. There were blood everywhere, there were bodies on the ground everywhere. Um, and the sense of panic, people standing by their loved ones, but also pa people running away. Police have just released an image of a suspect who they think is connected to the attack. We'll have the latest developments and reaction from the Swedish capital. The other main stories on BBC News. The US launches a missile strike on the Syrian government airbase believed to have mounted the chemical attack earlier this week. Tonight I call on all civilized nations to join us in seeking to end the slaughter and bloodshed in Syria. As Syrian television shows the aftermath, Moscow strongly condemns the action, vowing to strengthen President Assad's air defences. The Romanian tourist, injured in the Westminster attacks in London two weeks ago, has died. Andrea Christier fell into the River Thames during the incident. Well, good evening everybody, it's so good to have you here, so please uh, say hello to me and to everybody and uh, tell a little bit about yourself, just introduce yourself, I mean uh, say uh, which city you're from, uh, how old you are if you want to say about that and uh, if you are going to take part in the Russian national exam. Okay, let's start, it's over to you. Yeah, I can hear you fine. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. My name is Vika. Mm -hmm. And I'm 17. Mm -hmm. And I will uh, preparing for my exam. Uh, which, city, uh, which city are you from, Vika? A uh, small town in Siberia. It's called uh, Sovetsky. Uh, in uh, which region of Russia? Siberia. Sorry, Siberia? Yeah. But uh, can you think of uh, oblast? Mm. It is not oblast, it is Obrok. Well, uh, how do you call it? How do you call it? Okay, good. Good to have you here. Um, so, who's next? Um, can I? Yes, sure. Um, my name is Nastya, I'm from Belgrade, uh, I'm 17, and I study in high school. Mm -hmm. Good. Next, please. Hello, uh, hello. my name is Elena, uh, I'm 20 years old. I have already passed Russian national exam uh, in English, and uh, I'm a student now. And I study uh, in a high school of uh, foreign languages and translation oh, which in Kazan Federal oh, University. Okay. In Kazan, all right, good. Good. Um, then um, I think this is uh, Rusana, right? Yes, hello. Yeah, hello to you, Rusana. Uh -huh. Just where are you from? Say a couple of words about yourself. Just introduce yourself. Okay, uh, I'm 17 years old. Uh, I'm from Nasty Camps, and now I'm preparing for Russian State Exam. Okay, good. And then, um, what's your name, please? My name is Rostam. No, no, it's uh, not about you. The next one. <laughs> okay. Do you know me? Say it again. Uh, do you know me? Yes. I'm Olivia. Uh -huh. I'm from uh, Nizhny Novgorod. Uh 
Uh-huh. Okay, very good. So, the next question to you is, I think that uh, it was possible for you to listen to the latest news from the BBC. Uh, can we talk a little bit about the latest news? What have you heard? Instead, there was a traffic attack. There was a a what? Tra uh, traffic attack. Terrorist attack. Mm -hmm. Where? No, a traffic attack. In Stockholm. Yeah, in Stockholm. In Stockholm. Yeah, very good. Um, any other news? I was reading something about uh, Syria. Right, right. Uh, something about chemical weapons. Right. Yeah, but I didn't notice what exactly it was. Yeah, it was the air strike the missile strike uh, done by the United States of America and uh, right now uh, the United Nations have uh, the emergency meeting on that whether the United yeah, States violated the international law on this strike or not and we will see it later okay anybody else about the la latest news Can you say something else? Okay, uh, if, you, if, you, if it was possible for you to see the picture of a young lady. This lady uh, is from uh, Romania and she has died today uh, in London and she uh, is the victim of the latest terrorist attack in London. Maybe you heard that um, a Wednesday, not the previous week, but two weeks ago, there was uh, a terrorist attack in London. And uh, what actually happened, uh, this young lady fell from the Westminster Bridge. And so today she died and uh, all in all, Five people died in this terrorist attack in London, and that that was in the latest news. All right, good. So uh, what, I so, uh, what I want you to do today is um, uh, we will talk, and uh, the topic of our conversation will be uh, as follows, which is called uh, "Reading the Changes." Reading the Changes is uh, an idiom. Uh, do you understand what um, reading the changes means? Have you ever idea? Any ideas? Any ideas? Uh, maybe something changed in your life? Yeah, to read the changes, it means to go through all types of possible changes in your life. So the first question to you uh, what kind of changes can happen in your life? Right now? Yeah, please, start talking. Well, I think, uh, first of all, we should pass our exam and change our schools to uh, new atmosphere, I mean, new university. And probably it will be hard, okay. but yeah. it is the biggest change in our life right now. Okay, master. Uh, people grow up and they change their friends, their habits, uh, their hobbies too. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, Regina. Uh, Regina. Alright, uh, Rosanna? Uh, during the life, 
uh, we change our um, friends um, uh, we change the place where we live okay. also during uh, our growing uh, we change our interest we change our what? Interest. Interests. Okay. Interest. I understand. Uh, Olivia? Um, I can say that now we are just, uh, just uh, children, but a couple of months, we will become adults. So we will change, maybe we can change our <laughs> interests. Uh, okay, uh, what you have here uh, in the text, um, it says everyone goes through changes, whether by choice or because of something outside their control talk about changes that have happened to you or might happen in the future relating them to these phrases so right now we will talk about using the phrases so uh, some of these phrases are idioms so the first is a change for the better so this is my first question to you you talked right now you talked about your uh, the changes which happened in your life was it a change for the better, Vika? Yeah, do you mean that I moved to another city uh, to continue my education? Well, I don't know. It's up to you. You can. Ch you also said that uh, moving to another place or starting a new school or wh whatever you think, uh, was this change a change for the better? Well, in my opinion, everything is in our life is for better. Okay, uh, Nastya. Okay, uh, Nastya. Um, I will live in Owensland and I will be a more self-confident, I suppose. And I think it's uh, better for me. Mm -hmm. uh, Regina. Do we have Regina in class? Or she left. I have no idea. Okay, and then um, Rusana. I think that uh, changes is good for people. But changes are good for people. Uh -huh. um, because uh, we can improve our skills and give up um, ha different habits. Mm-hmm. Okay, and uh, Olivia? Um, I think that in the future I will make more friends, to new friends, and get higher education, so it is surely the change for the better. Okay, so the next uh, change uh, which is mentioned here is the earliest change you can remember. Okay, if you ask me, uh, you know, uh, during this uh, half year I got married. So, uh, if you think whether this is uh, a change in my life, definitely. Uh, was it a change for the better? Of course, it was a change for the better. So. The earliest change, the next is the earliest change you can remember. So which is the earliest change that you can remember? And we will start with the reversed order. Uh, Olivia, will you please? Actually, I don't know. Oh, but uh, yeah, you, you can say so. So, uh, Rusana. Mm. Uh, I, I can't even remember any change 
if we're talking about my um, my first uh, view, how I'm looking like. Um, so I don't know. Okay, uh, good. We will just listen to other people. Uh, do we still have Regina from Kazan? No. Uh, Nastya? Uh, in the nearest past, I met a new friend and it made me happy. Okay, and uh, Dika? Uh, well, in my life, it's just ordinary life, and I think the Every change in my life is, um, I mean, was after nine class mm -hmm. when my ex roommate uh, went off to another colleges, and I have a new class. Okay, so if I can so think of can. my uh, the earliest change that I can remember, I think that I was uh, around uh, two years old and uh, um my dad uh, at that time he was in the military and so he gave me his uh, military cap to wear so i uh, put uh, this cap on and i decided that i became uh, a military boss and so this uh made me think that uh, probably I will become a person, um, no, it's, I, I'm not calling you uh, Regina, it's Elvina, your name is Elvina, uh, sorry, but uh, the sound is not that good, so I just mispronounced your name, alright, Elvina, uh, please join the conversation, so and after that, I, I, I remember that I changed a lot, like I, I started thinking that uh, probably I will become a military person, but I didn't, I even didn't uh, serve in the army. Okay, Elvina, do you want to uh, make a contribution to the conversation? Uh, what is the earliest change that you can remember? So, uh, I'm that uh, entering the university, earliest change in my life, earliest great change in my life, I will call it in, in this day, because uh, now my life is uh, more different uh, than it was before, when I was studying school, for example. Okay, and uh, the, the next line here is, uh, the big change is a new location. Can you think of uh, a new location as uh, a big change in your life? Uh, all right, let's start again with Olivia. Um, I remember that when I was three years old, uh -huh. my family and I lived in Chimain, but then we removed to Nizhny mm -hmm. So we changed our location. All right, and uh, Rosana? Um, I think it, it is a big uh, change in our life. I moved uh, to another home uh, two years ago, uh -huh. and, and and I can say that it is really difficult from uh, different from the uh, life uh, I lived in other. In another city? In, in, in another flat. Okay, okay, so because other is plural. Other should be many. many. And another is one. Another city or in, uh, uh, other cities. Okay, um, so then, uh, Elvina? Uh, I think that uh, a new location uh, also in your life because for example when I finished school and uh, moved uh, in uh, Kazan uh, it was great change in my life because I meet my parents I meet my friends so because it was really uh, another landscape mm -hmm. and uh, I miss my home very much 
Okay, good. And uh, um, Nastya? Uh, in the summer, I had to move to another city, and I think it's a big opportunity for taking in new friends, uh, visiting uh, some interesting places, and uh, maybe uh, learning, new, like, learning new languages. Okay, good. And Vika? Well, I will mm, move to another city this summer, but before I never had something like that. I lived in my small town all my life, and I think it will be stress for me because I'm just used to my family and I will miss my friends and so on and so on. Okay, very good. Uh, so. Uh, uh, we will skip one of the lines uh, because it's almost the repetition of already we, we of what we already have said. So we will take the last take line. The uh, a change of heart, a change of heart. It's again an idiom. If you understand the meaning, I can give you uh, an idea uh, of the meaning of uh, a change of heart. It's almost like a change of mind. I think that you know this idiom. He changed his mind. Uh, only I think uh, only it's a I little bit stronger. And uh, let me read uh, of the explanation from the teacher's book. So um, I found some old letters the other day, which I have had kept for more than 20 years. But I had a sudden change of heart and burned all the letters so a uh, change of heart uh, the meaning is that you decide to reverse your position or your attitude towards uh, something like you see the person kept old letters but suddenly this person changed the heart and burned all of the letters. So the question to you, can you think of a change of heart? So please. Yeah, it's uh, Vika. Uh, can you repeat your question? Uh, it's written here, uh, a change of heart. Okay. Uh, well, I'm not sure I can change of my heart. All right, um, Nastya? Uh, people grow up, and, uh, for example, they have uh, they had a favorite book, uh, but when they grow up, uh, their uh, thoughts change, and uh, they find uh, something new, something new, a new book, uh, something. New interest, everything changed. Okay, um, Elvina? Yes, I, ha I have a change of heart. Uh, first of all, when I finished school, I, uh, I entered the Department of Regional Studies, Student uh, Regional Studies, and uh, after a year, I decided to take uh, the faculty. I, ent I re entered the uh, university okay. again. Yeah, um, and then uh, Rusana? Um, I have changed uh, of heart many times. I think the reason of this uh, because, uh, for example, I've fallen in love and then um, changed my heart. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, and the last one, Vika. What I told you before. Uh, you mean change of my heart? That's okay. Uh, so, uh, if you ask me, uh, change of heart. I had a change of heart last year. Uh, you know, I've been uh, in. Uh, Actually, I was in a relationship for a very long time, like for 10 uh, years plus, 
which means more than 10 years. I was in a relationship in a with, uh, uh, with a lady, but uh, all of a sudden she decided to uh, see another person. So at first I, I didn't like it and uh, I, I, I told her that this is not up to my expectations but she didn't refuse to stop your new relationship so i had i had to have the change of heart so i had to have to move on and to find a new relationship so that was a big change of my heart do you understand that yes yes okay good so uh, we talked about changes and again uh, we talked about three idioms already ring the changes which means uh, to have uh, very different changes uh, in uh, your life um, absolutely uh, lots of options of changes then a change for the better like you said when you move to a new house or um, when you get a new career or like for example um, it says here that the person worked for uh, investment banking but um, he was just um, made uh, leave the job and so that is why the person decided to retrain and to become a teacher so that was a big change in his life and so on so uh, another idiom was uh, a change of heart a change of heart is the change of uh, attitude a change on a reverse of uh, position or reverse in position and in attitude okay so we will keep on talking about other idioms because today we will have some listening practice and uh, um, in this listening practice you will have several idioms so uh, this is another uh, task and I will make it larger for you it is called uh, um, the idiom spot I think that you understand the word spot right do you understand it? The word spot? Uh, actually, no. Well, I don't understand. Yeah. Uh, who knows the word spot? No. Just tell me in Russian. No? Yeah, you can say so. Um, and this is a very important word uh, for you to know. Okay. So, uh, you will uh, read uh, some sentences uh, with new idioms to you and you will have uh, two answers and you will have to choose between these two uh, about the meaning of this idiom all right uh, if you don't mind Olivia will you start with the example Olivia are you with us okay uh, Rusana uh, you will you will already have come across many struggle work, but now you need to add to this knowledge. If there are gaps in your learning, try what, to uh, fill just them. Hold in. on. Hold on. What are you, what are you doing? I asked you to read the example oh. from the idiom spot. Uh, if something happens out of the blue, it is a unexpected mm -hmm. be creative so what do you think is it unexpected or creative mm. how knows? Oh, I can see uh -huh, yeah unexpected. yeah but how knows uh, the idiom out of the blue or like a bolt from the blue have you ever heard this idiom before no Oh. out of the blue unexpected 
it's just almost the same in Russian like uh, bold from the blue means grom среди ясного неба out of the blue прямо из ясного неба out of the blue blue sky it's it's a very common idiom in the English language okay can you un can you understand that yeah all right so yes. yeah I want you I encourage you to memorize uh, this idiom and to use it in your essays and in your speaking practice okay um then um Elvina will you please uh, read uh, number one Oh, okay, when things fall into place, events happen to go. When things fall into place, events happen to change the order of a list or happen to produce the situation you want. Change the order of a list. What's that? First. No, sorry. It's uh, produce the situation you want. And how do we say it in Russian? When things fall into place. Events happen to produce the situation you want. Yeah, absolutely. When things fall into place. And again, I encourage you to remember this idiom. All right, uh, next, uh, Nastya. Uh, if something goes um, broken... Down, it's downhill, down it's downhill. Downhill. Uh -huh. uh, it um, gradually becomes worse or picks up speed. Uh -huh. um, maybe it's pain. Yeah. So, uh, the meaning is, uh, если что-то идет круто вниз, uh, и выбор возможностей постепенно становится хуже или набирает скорость. Uh, I, I like uh, this example because it's very hard for you to choose. It's possible to pick up speed when you go downhill, correct? But the correct answer is it gradually becomes worse. So how do we say it in Russian if something goes downhill? Yeah, you can say so, right. Okay, and then uh, Vika? Um, if something is on the cut, mm -hmm. it is uh, likely to happen. Likely to, to happen, right. And how do we say that in Russian? If something is on the cards, it is likely to happen. Well, uh, do we have a saying about the cards in Russian? I think no. Well, I think yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just can you, can you think of a saying uh, with cards in Russian? Was that? No, cards is playing cards. Do, do you know cards for playing? Playing a, a game of cards? Yes. So if, if something, it's here, it's the playing cards. If something is on the cards, it is likely to happen. Uh, well, slightly different. It's um, you move with mm. You understand? understand? It's just like you move with karta. It's if something is on the card, it's likely to happen. All right, and uh, um, Olivia, number four. Um, when you are talking about the change in your life and you say the rest in history, you mean that uh, 
Meaning the first one? No, no. It's just listen, please. I I want you to listen and to understand the, uh, the English language. So when you are talking about a change in your life, like you know, uh, as I said, uh, this uh, lady, which I had relationship for ten years and more, so she just changed her partner, and so I had to make a change in my life also. So the rest is history. The meaning is. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, I'm sure that you know what happened next. The rest is history. And I want you to use uh, this uh, idiom also. So you see, these idioms are really good and they are very common in the English language. But at the same time, uh, we will happen to uh, meet them, to see them uh, in the listening comprehension part. Today we will work on the listening comprehension and uh, this is about listening. So, uh, first of all, uh, we will have to work on the options and uh, you will hear five different people talking about a key change in their lives. Tick each speaker's life changing moment. So, tick, uh, this is typically British in American language we say we do not say tick because tick in American language means a small bug uh, which is in Russian klesh a small bug, a small insect it's tick uh, in American language we say put a check поставь галочку and in the British English we say tick поставь галочку you understand? yeah so, tick each speaker's life-changing moment. There is one extra that you will not need. And now, uh, the life-changing moments, because you have the new vocabulary here. So, being made redundant. Redundant means избыточный. And I, I want you to know this word. Being made redundant, uh, the meaning is when the person becomes unemployed because he got fired he was fired from his job so do you understand the meaning how can you say that in russian being made redundant <laughs> well yes you're right uh uvolili, but this is a specific type of uvolili. uh the person was <laughs> made huh? Сокращение? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Сокращение штата. Человека сделали избыточным. Должность сократили. Being made redundant. And I want you to memorize this. So, gaining media attention. Gaining media... What does that mean? Получить внимание прессы. Absolutely. Very, very true. Then meeting Mr. Right. What is that? Um, well, ladies, I, I, I want you to know this idiom. This is also an idiom. And this is very necessary idiom for you. So any, any other guesses, any other supposition, what is uh, that supposed to mean? Mr. Right. Well, actually not. So, how about you, ladies? Uh, do you want to meet your Mr. Right? Yeah, but uh, we are talking about a man here. That's that, that's the proper man for your life. Your partner? Uh, well partner it's slightly different mr. right um, well in Russian we say встретить настоящего мужчину yeah something like that uh, but uh, it's it's not the translation I, I I want you to understand meet uh, mr. right so 
uh, that's when ladies they talk I, I want to meet my Mr. Right for my life do you understand what I'm saying? yeah yeah ideal ideal uh, yeah like you said any I a perfect a perfect man okay meeting Mr. Right so what's that? So what's that? for life? Yeah, you can say for life, yeah. You can say for life, yeah. So, hating, oh, okay. hating the wrong way, what does that mean? Hating the wrong way. What is that? You, you don't, don't understand? Yes, absolutely. So, to head means like to move, to go, to head. Where are you heading? I'm going to school now. Куда ты идешь? Я в школу. And the wrong way you understand. So then losing some something special. I think that you understand that. And then stepping in for someone. What does that mean? On no, no. Again, you see, it's two, two idioms here at the same time. The first idiom is stepping in, and the second idiom, stepping in for something. Okay, I will explain. Uh, the meaning is that uh, you are taking somebody's position, like uh, Mr. President Trump, stepped in the position of the president of the united states of america for mr obama do you mm -hmm. do you understand that was that yes. yeah you can yes. say, yeah you can say so so the first part of the idiom is to step in you you can use it separately you can say that uh, Mr. President uh, Trump stepped in the position of the president. And then another idiom is he stepped in for President Obama. Okay? And why I took it? Because I like when you have two prepositions for the phrasal verb. Not very often you have it, but when you have it, it's really hard for you. You understand that, right? Yes. Okay. So, are you are you ready to listen? And uh, please uh, check the uh, uh, put a check for each speaker's life-changing moment. Then uh, we will check your answers. So, are you ready to listen? Yeah. All right. Yes. Please do. Okay, just hold on. I will just turn it on. It will start to Oh, sorry. Remember, and nearly didn't go. Anyway, sorry. I was worried enough that it would make myself insult. Okay. Unit one. One point one. Exercise two. Speaker one. I've had a really fantastic year. It all started last November when I was dragged along to a party by a friend. I was in a terrible mood, I remember, and nearly didn't go. Anyway, I was wearing an outfit I'd made myself, in soft black leather and antique lace. Quite an unusual combination. Kelly Johns, the presenter of a big daytime TV show, was there, and my little number caught her eye. We got chatting and she asked whether I could come up with something original for her to wear on the show. I jumped at the opportunity. That was a real turning point for me. And I was soon able to quit my day job and concentrate on the clothes side full time. Through Kelly's show, I've had lots of orders. I've just finished an exclusive range for a top designer. And I've even taken on an assistant to help me. Just think if I'd stayed at home that night. Two. People often ask me how I got to be where I am today with sellout concerts in big stadiums around the world, 
thinking that I've spent years playing in local clubs, but the truth is, I'm literally an overnight sensation. I don't mean that arrogantly. It was just one lucky break, all down to being in the right place at the right time. There I was, an absolute nobody, hanging around backstage with Arrowhead, when their lead guitarist tripped over a pile of speakers and broke his arm. Five minutes before they were due on. I've been telling them about my awesome guitar style, so naturally, they all turned to me and said, Kid, help us out here. And I did. The place was packed, and I can still feel my hands shaking as I played that very first solo. It went okay, though, and the rest is... history. Speaker 3. I was in Milan visiting friends, trying to cheer myself up after a dismal few months. My long-term boyfriend and I had broken up, plus I'd left a job without another to go to. My money was running out, and I was planning to leave a few days later. Anyway, my friend suggested that I should take a look at Verona before going back home, and told me what time train I could get from Milan. Well, for some reason, I ended up on a slow train going south without realizing my mistake. Both trains had left at the same time. I fell asleep in the compartment and woke just as the train arrived in Bologna. I had a wander around and fell in love with the place and knew it was where I wanted to be. Everything just fell into place. I found a teaching job, took a room in a beautiful flat and settled in immediately. I lived there for six years and I go back regularly. Speaker 4. It's funny how you can hit a run of bad luck. One moment things are moving along quite normally in your life, and then bam, something comes out of the blue and knocks you sideways. And then wham, something else. I'm okay now, but I've had a difficult couple of years. My problem was quite simply that I'd been living beyond my means for a long time, and some debts finally caught up with me. Even then, I thought I'd be okay. I arranged to pay them off little by little from my salary, monthly, you know. But then, the place where I was working cut back on his workforce and they let me go. Well, that was it. I suppose I panicked. I wasn't thinking straight, you know. So I just packed a bag, got on a coach and left town for London, where my life went downhill fast. I got in with a bad crowd and one thing led to another. It's a miracle my brother ever tracked me down, but he's got me back and sorted, with a roof over my head and a new job on the cards. Speaker 5. It could be a story in true romance, but it really happened just like this. Almost 20 years ago to the day, I was waiting for a bus after another mind-numbingly awful day at work. No bus in sight, of course. I was in a rut. My job was going nowhere. Anyway, there I was, staring gloomily at my reflection in a puddle, feeling utterly sorry for myself and thinking, is this really all there is to life? Then I saw two things in that puddle, one imperceptibly after the other. The first was no surprise, huge rain. splashes of rain as the heavens opened yet again. But then, this enormous red umbrella appearing behind my head as if by magic. A gorgeous gravelly voice to my left said, did I mind? It was big enough for two and he didn't want my hair to get wet. Very fortunately, it was another 15 minutes before the bus finally turned up, and hooray, it didn't stop raining. His name was Terence, though he's been Terry to me ever since, and dad to our three wonderful children. Alright, so how was that? Please tell me. It wasn't so hard, but I had a bad internet connection, so it was not a good quality of connection. I mean, okay. Anybody else? <laughs> the sound was clear. Uh, what wasn't clear? The sound of the record. Okay, uh, Rosanna, how about you? How about you? Um, yeah, it was hard to listen to sound, but I catch only uh, three, four, and five parts. Okay, and uh, Nastya? Uh, it was really hard for me, and actually I didn't understand anything. You, you what? 
Uh, I didn't understand anything. Okay, um, that's possible for me to read it uh, to you right now. So I think that um, it's it's not a big deal. So um, I've uh, a speaker one. I've had a really fantastic year. It all started last November when I was dragged along to a party by a friend. I was in a terrible mood, I remember it, nearly didn't go. Anyway, I was wearing an outfit I'd made myself in soft black leather and antique lace. Quite an unusual combination. Kelly Jones, the presenter of a big daytime TV show, was there and my little number caught her eye. We got chatting and she asked whether I could come up with uh, something original for her to wear on the show. I jumped at the opportunity. That was a real turning point for me and I was soon able to quit my day job and concentrate on the clothes side full time. Through Kelly's show, I've had lots of orders. I've just finished an inclusive range for a top designer and I've even taken on an assistant to help me. Just think if I'd stayed at home that night. So, your answer, Zvika, what is your answer? Uh, can you show me the answers? Yes, sure. I think giving me the thing. Okay, and then um, Nastya? Mm, the story about a uh, woman uh, who changed her life. Um, um, you, you have to choose. Uh, um, I know, I know, but I can't actually. Alright, and then uh, Elvina? I also think so. What's that? I also think that the beginning music is dancing. Okay, uh, Rusana? Um, I think... Stepping in for someone. Stepping in for someone. Yes, uh, you you can you can think so, but this is not the correct answer. All right, mm -hmm. and uh, Olivia. I'm not sure, but I think that the right answer is giving me the attention. Okay, so the the correct answer. Um, right now, I will just read it for you in Russian. У меня был фантастический год. Все началось в прошлом ноябре, когда меня притащили на вечеринку одна из моих подруг. Я была в ужасном настроении, я помню, и почти не хотела идти. А, да ладно, я надела наряд, который я сделала сама. Это была мягкая черная кожа и античные кружева. Ничего себе необычное сочетание. Келли Джонс, а, которая была ведущей большого телевизионного шоу, Была там, и э, мой маленький номер э, захватил ее внимание. Мы стали болтать, и она спросила, могу ли я э, предоставить какую-то идею чего-нибудь оригинального для нее, чтобы одеть на шоу. Я, конечно, схватила за возможность. Это была на самом деле поворотная точка для меня, и вскоре я смогла бросить свою работу и сконцентрироваться на э, одежде все свое время. А через э, шоу Келли я получила множество заказов. Я только что закончила эксклюзивную линейку для ведущего дизайнера, и я даже взяла себе помощника, э, чтобы помогать мне. И я думаю, э, просто подумайте, если бы я пропустил, осталась дома в тот вечер. So what is the answer? Gaining media attention, yeah, but not stepping in for somebody. But this, yeah, you, you can think so, I understand. Okay, number two. 
people often ask me how I got to be where I am today with the sellout concerts in big stadiums around the world thinking that I've spent years playing in local clubs but the truth is I'm literally an overnight sensation I don't mean that arrogantly it was just one lucky break all down to being in the right place at the right time there I was an absolute nobody hanging around backstage with Arrowhead when their lead guitarist tripped over a pile of speakers and broke his arm five minutes before they were due on I'd been telling them about my awesome guitar style so naturally they all turned to me and said kid help us out here and I did the place was packed and I can still feel my hands shaking as I played that first very solo it went okay though and the rest is history so what is the answer here tell me the answer please just tell me the answer no show sure. oh, okay mm, i mean yeah i got yeah. you yes right okay um anybody you think something special no all right just listen because uh we do not have a lot of time so uh, i mean stepping in for someone all right so люди часто спрашивают меня как я стал тем кем я являюсь сегодня а когда у меня полностью проданы все билеты на концерты в больших стадионах по всему миру думая что я провел долгие годы играя в местных клубах клуба но по правде говоря я стал буквально сенсацией за ночь я не говорю об этом а, с каким-то высокомерием это просто была удача а все э, сводится к тому что я оказался в правильном месте в правильное время а, и так я был вот там совершенно никто просто слонялся позади сцены вместе с группой Arrowhead когда их ведущий гитарист поскользнулся над кучей э, динамиков и сломал себе руку пять минут до того как им выходить на сцену и а я только что рассказывал им о моем потрясающем гитарном стиле поэтому естественно все они повернулись ко мне и сказали Эй, паренек, помоги нам здесь, и я помог. И место было полно народу, и я до сих пор чувствую, как у меня дрожали руки, когда я сыграл это самое первое соло. Но все прошло нормально, и все остальное история, вы знаете все остальное, что было дальше. Okay, so speaker three. I was in Milan visiting friends, trying to cheer myself up. After a dismal few months, my long-term boyfriend and I had broken up, plus I'd left a job without another to go to. My money was running out and I was planning to leave a few days later. Anyway, my friends suggested that I should take a look at Verona before going back home and told me what time train I could get from Milan. Well, for some reason, I ended up on a slow train going south without realizing my mistake. Both trains had left at the same time. I fell asleep at the compartment and woke just as the train arrived in Bologna. I had a wander around and fell in love with the place and knew it was where I wanted to be everything just fell into place i found a teaching job took a room in a beautiful flat and settled in immediately i lived there for six years and i go back regularly what's the answer okay anybody else Only one person, so please feel free to answer. Uh, 
heading heading uh, for for the one who walked away. What is your answer? Yes, sure. All right. So, ladies, um, I will just being redundant. Yeah? What's that? Being redundant. Being redundant. All right. Just listen to the Russian translation, and that will be last um, speaker which we discuss today. Maybe we'll discuss later. So, я была в Милане, посещая друзей, стараясь подбодрить себя после плохих нескольких месяцев. Мой друг, с которым мы были долгое время вместе, и я, мы порвали друг с другом. А плюс к этому я осталась без работы, и у меня я ушла с работы, и у меня не было новой работы, куда обратиться. Деньги заканчивались, и я Планировала уехать несколькими днями позже. А, да ладно, мои друзья предложили, что мне следует посмотреть Верону, прежде чем вернуться домой, и сказали мне, в какое время я могу на поезде уехать из Милана. По какой-то причине все закончилось тем, что медленный поезд, который шел на юг, забрал меня, и я совершенно не понимала свою ошибку. Оба поезда отправлялись в одно и то же время. Я заснула в купе и проснулась прямо, когда поезд приехал в Болонью. Я побродила там и влюбилась в это место, и я знала, что это именно то место, где я хотела быть. Все прямо полностью сошлось, и я нашла учительскую работу, сняла комнату в прекрасной квартире и поселилась, и ну, как бы осталась там жить немедленно. Я прожила там шесть лет и возвращаюсь туда uh, постоянно. So the answer is heading the wrong way. Heading yeah. the wrong way. Heading the wrong way. Okay. So ladies, it's been pleasure uh, to talk with you, and uh, I think that uh, probably, like you said, it it was uh, the bad uh, sound. But I I did it specifically for you to understand that during the exam. Uh, it might happen that you will have a very poor sound. So I want you to get used to and I want you to understand that even when the sound is poor, still it is possible to understand and to answer the question. So what I want you to do is uh, I want to uh, pay attention to my page in VK. So please um, Hold on. So my page is uh, here. This is my page. Okay. And uh, you have the reviews about my classes. I just encourage you to write some review. What you think, your comments, your observations, your um, whatever you want to write about my classes. And uh, that's it for today. And hopefully I will see you next Friday. Do you have any questions, any observations, any comments right now? No. Thank you. So if no, um, thank you so much for attending the class. And uh, bye for now. Till next Friday. Thank you too. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye. You are currently the only person in this call.